I have three pieces of wood here that measure 46 inches in length by one and a half inches. And I painted all three with some Wise Owl black paint. Now this was just some scrap wood that I had laying around. You can get this for a pretty inexpensive price at Home Depot or Lowe's. Next, I have these farm laser cut animals. I get them in a pack at Hobby Lobby. Each pack has one animal, and I'm going to stain them with my General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain. I apply it with a Gen Foam brush, and then I just wipe in the gel stain with a paper towel. And I'm gonna do that to all my animals. I have two roosters, two pigs, and two cows. I have six of these plastic Dollar Tree paddle cutting boards, and I'm gonna glue one farm animal into the center of each paddle board, three of them facing the right and three of them facing the left side. Now I did decide to move my roosters so they were standing vertical with the paddle on the top and the paddle on the bottom. Next, I have this really small hinge, and I'm just going to glue one side of the hinge onto the top of one of the pieces of wood we had painted, and I'm just doing that so it holds it in place while I screw it into place. Now, you can get a pack of these hinges at Hobby Lobby for a couple dollars. And I'm screwing two screws into the holes to secure the hinge in place. Now, if you pre-drill, it will be a little easier. Once I had one side of the hinge secured to one piece of wood, I then secured the other side of the hinge to a second piece of wood. Now, I'm going to say these are going to be the top of the wood, and again, I'm just securing the hinge in place, so now I have them connected. We're going to put that aside for now. I'm going to go back to my plastic Dollar Tree cutting boards, and I'm going to stack them on top of each other. Now I'm just making them into the shape of a windmill. You can really stack them however you'd like. And then I have a bolt that fits right in the center of all the holes that are at the top of each paddle on the cutting board. I'm gonna flip it over so the back side of the cutting boards are now facing up. I have this square piece of wood. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to drill a hole right in the center and I'm going to paint that black. And then I'm going to allow that to fully dry. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to the back of these paddles. And then I'm going to lay my square piece of wood face down so the black is facing down. And I'm going to screw on the nut and secure everything very tight so my cutting boards do not move. I'm going to lay my two pieces of wood that we hinged together with the hinge at the top. And I'm going to take some wood glue and I'm going to set our cutting boards on top of the wood glue. And I did secure it in place with two other screws just while the wood glue dries. Now, the third piece of wood I had cut, so we went from the 46 inches to one piece that is 13 and a half inches, and then a second piece that is 20 inches, and then I just set aside the remaining piece of wood. And I'm going to glue the shorter one on the top here and then the longer one down at the bottom and I'm just eyeing where I want these to go if you want to add a third piece you can even just move these a little closer and I am securing them in place with some wood glue and a small amount of hot glue just so they are secure until the wood glue dries And then at the bottom, I'm just drilling two holes and adding some hot glue and sticking a screw in the bottom. So now we have a way to stick this right in the ground. And now we have this very cute, easy farmhouse windmill decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.